All right, so I did absolutely no checking on this shit before I started recording, so hopefully it don't sound shitty and so on and so forth. Hopefully you can hear me. So, let's talk about how to do the basics for SC Planner right fast. Um, let me adjust this and point it toward me so you can hear me better if it's even working well. All right, so, SC Planner. Go to the site, which is scplanner.net, right? Click log on. And you're going to log in using your SoundCloud account. Make sure you're logged into your main SoundCloud account that you want to actually use with this site. Um, I mean, it ain't really that big of a deal which one you log into, but just make sure you're using the one that you want to do your main operations with. This is the site. Yours is probably going to be like a grayish color. I changed the options, which is up here. You can make it a. Uh, it's up and over. It's next to this actually. But uh you could change the skin. Alright, so let's talk about adding accounts. Let's do that first. Um keep in mind Charlie is actually gonna make a or one of us will make an in-depth tutorial on actually how to use this, but I just want to get this going right now so everybody in our Discord server can pretty much get the idea of how to trade accounts and so on and so forth. Because it's gonna be a lot of requests for that to happen throughout the Discord server. Anyways, moving on. So, let me go back to the home page and make sure y'all saw that. What you're going to do to add accounts or to join other people's networks, click on account and then click on network and groups. And then this comes up. This right here, this is your actual link that you would give to somebody if you wanted to uh if you wanted to have them add your account into their network, right? Now, if you want to add somebody else into your network, they're going to give you a link similar to this. It's basically your SoundCloud URL. Actually, it's exactly your SoundCloud URL. And you will just take that from the other person, paste it in here, as you can see, and then click Send Invitation. Now, what that person's going to see is they're going to see this down here on the lower screen. Um, that's the subs, right? Yeah. Um specifically Oliver you said you didn't get my invitation so make sure that if you got a bunch of accounts or whatever make sure that you change this so you can see all of them or make sure that you change in the pages because if you got more than 10 there'll, there'll be more than one page with the default setting so what I do is I actually I just go to this little thing right here at the top of each section and just click on 100 to make sure that everything in that section is being shown to me that I need to see or you can just flip through the pages like I said um, this group thing, we'll talk about that in the real tutorial. They just they just announced that. Um, so Oliver, specifically for you, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you're in the sub section, and then you're gonna wanna click this and put it on a, a number that's larger than the actual amount of sub accounts you're actually dealing with. And then scroll down until you find the account that you're looking for, which as you can see right there, invitation sent, waiting on your approval. Um, for you though, you're going to be looking for that invitation down here in the second section which is the primary accounts same ordeal if you got more than 10 click on this to reveal all of them eventually the process and it'll show up and then you're going to be looking for an account named All Rise Productions it's, it's not that one there's two with the actual label All Rise Productions but you're going to be looking for the one with the, uh, the black picture that says All Rise Productions and it's going to have one of these and it's going to have a check mark. You need to click the check mark. So I've already deleted the invitation and resent it to make sure you got a fresh one and all of that. So all you got to do is make it show itself and then go click the uh, the check mark and then you all good to go on that. And then when you're done, make sure you uh, go grab my SoundCloud URL and then throw it in this box right here and then send me an invitation as well uh... moving on <clears throat> the hub if you've just opened your SE Planner account you get a free seven days if not some of these features may not be available to you because you have to pay to get the other half of the features you can use the account for free meaning you can join networks and do a couple of other things with it but uh, to really use it and be able to do trades and all that after your free seven day trial is up unless they changed it and I'm not aware you're gonna need to pay two dollars a month for it 
and it's an additional dollar for every thousand followers you get beyond three thousand followers so once you hit three thousand followers it's going to go up to three dollars and then four thousand is four dollars and so on so on and so forth so keep that in mind as you grow too you might want to make a secondary account that's under so many followers so you don't have to pay so much nah let me cheat the system anyways so the hub <clears throat> You click on the hub and then this appears the first thing you're going to see is trades that's where you actually make the trades at um what you do is you click on this plus symbol right here you go grab the share url for whatever track it is that you want to share or repost excuse me and then you drop the shit right here you go down here and enter the accounts that you want to use right if you had a group set up then you would use that instead set how many followers you want it to be for I set that one for 40k just throw that shit out there uh, and then that's it you're done um, you can go more into depth with that shit you can go in and set your actual preferences down here in the account or whatever to where this is already set up for you all you gotta do is drop the link in like it's a very convenient site so now that I've done that, this trade that I just created is going to go into the list of all the other trades, and then people's going to be able to look at it and you know click on this and listen to the track, see if they want to make a trade on it or not. This particular one, since I set it at 40k, can't nobody trade on it unless they got 40k. You see what I'm saying? So every time this gets a trade, which as you can see, this one's been traded once, as well as these other ones, it's getting set in front of 40,000 people. And that can happen numerous times. I'll, I'll pull this up just to show you what I mean. See if I can find one with a big number without looking too hard. Okay, there you go, 20K, 30K. You see, this has been shared, this 20K one here has been shared four times. That's 80K. You get what I'm saying? Just, just to push it into perspective for you. Now on the flip side, for the other person, I'm not sure okay so it's, a, it's at minimum like 37k or some shit available right here it might even be like 43k or something I don't feel like counting but uh not only did this track from Flow get sent out to 20k four times those four people that did that for me their tracks are going to be sent out to all of these accounts four times you get what I'm saying so yeah y'all need to use this shit alright so Again, making trades. We just made a trade. So now let's show you how to make an offer on other people's trades, which is actually on the very same page. So I'm just going to collapse that and just scroll down to this next section. So these are other people's trades. Again, click 100. Uh, this bar right here, you can set your parameters. So let's just say I want to do a trade for, I don't know, let's say 1K, right? So I'll take this last one and drag it all the way down to 1K. Now I'll take this first one and just move it all the way over till it don't go no more, right? and then click the search that's gonna filter out all of the other trades and only show you the 1k trades and you can set that to whatever you want I actually suggest that each time you do sit down and use this site that you actually work in a different range too actually because different ranges have different people um, that's not always true as you can see like this person right here these guys got who knows how many thousands of followers but as you can see this particular trade right here they only did 1k and they're only using about 1500 1400 something like that followers to back the trade like right here Charlie he got 1k but his account is 1k or the one that he used is 1k on the flip side though he used his own account here is 1k but he got 2k for that account right you see how you see where I'm going here <coughs> excuse me you see Charlie got three trades right here so since damn he got almost 5k going on that one and he only he only set it for 1k but it's been traded three times so that it was out to 3k you, you, you get what I'm saying so anyways continuing on to the point I was supposed to be doing you would go to a trade I guess I'll click one that I know I don't mind using so we can save time here click on the little eyeball next to the trade go in check it out see if you want to use it so it's an electronic John Reel was posted on November 6th it's, it has a uh, 1k total followers in exchange if you decide to trade on it and it will unpaste, ugh, unpost from your account in 24 hours right and he has a total 1.5k so when he does this post you're actually going to get put in front of 1.5k versus what he actually set the trade for right 
So then you just come in here, throw your link in. Do I even got a link? There ain't even a link. That's some shit to my computer, ain't that something? Let's grab ain't with it, right? Now what I like to do is I like to make my trades irresistible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make sure that my followers that I offer for this trade is actually more than what he wants. So I'm gonna give him 27K for a 1K trade, right? You can tell what it is right here. If you refuse that, he crazy. Boom. And over the next day or two, this person to see that shit and they'll decide whether or not to accept it. If they accept it, the track I just put in there, it will get posted to the accounts listed in the trade and vice versa. And yeah, that's what it do. Um, The offers, hopefully this looks good. I hate to open up a blank page and shit. <laughs> but the offers, hey, we popping today. Look at this shit. Anyways, the offers page, this shows you the offers you've made that are pending. And then it shows you offers that were made to you on the tracks that you did like we just showed you and you can go in here and either accept them or delete the offers that you made so the ones to you are right here which you see the check marks here I don't really see anything that I know I can just click on okay here you go J flow I'll give you I'll get you 23k right quick boom click yes and done the trade is done so only thing that's gonna stop that from happening like almost right away is if you got stuff on your schedule already which we'll talk about in the future tutorials or whatever that's a little bit more advanced um, but yeah me clicking that check mark this trade just happened J flow song which got 43k back in it is traded with Brightland song which only got 23k back in it so J flow song is going to get posted to all of these accounts according to their schedules keep in mind so you know it might happen one at a time <laughs> one day per week until it's over it might happen once per hour until it's over it might happen all at the same time it all depends on how they got their account set up point being is this song from J flow is getting put in front of 23k regardless if it's on one account or multiple accounts I personally prefer that it's multiple accounts because each account will most likely have a different audience base so you get to tap into a different set of, of fans basically and different things can happen because of such um that's really all you need to know that was how to make trades how to delete trades uh how to add accounts into your network how to join other people's networks uh how to see your offers your offers are down here look at this every once in a while it, it ain't really that big of a deal but look at it every once in a while it's going to be occasions where somebody's just going to totally ignore your trade I wouldn't necessarily delete it right away because they might just be waiting according to their schedules you know what I mean to make sure that they don't over post or whatever so give it a chance before you delete it but if it's just sitting there if it's been sitting there for like a month or something like that just delete that shit they're not gonna accept that shit but uh it doesn't really happen people are actually fairly active on this site um chances are unless you be going overboard like I do Cause like I'm really super super duper active on this site like to the point where I'm actually intentionally trying to climb the scoreboard and shit you know what I'm saying like I, I, I'm, I'm more active than most people would be but uh unless you're really really active I wouldn't worry too much about this if you are really active then yeah look at this shit like every 30 days and make sure you keep it cleared out um, these are all for the most part new offers so I'm not really worried about it these on the other hand what can I say about these? Oh, it'll be occasions where I wish I could see his name. I don't see him in here. Um, some people they'll they'll actually send you offers on like all of your trades, but they'll only use one song. So you'll have an offer for every single one of your trades, but the offer will be the exact same song. So you'll have a list of the same ass song for each one of yours and what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to accept all of those right away um if you do accept them right away make sure that you got your calendar and all your scheduler and all that set up before you do it because what's going to happen is the system is just going to repost that song over and over and over again back to back if the schedule is not set up to tell it not to do so you get what i'm saying 
and that might that might piss off some of your fans and make them unfollow you so it's just a little simple shit like that you want to keep in mind um don't be over posting don't be making trades on bullshit songs unless you don't care about losing followers um in our position we don't necessarily care about losing followers so we can literally get 30 times the amount of followers we lose in like minutes <laughs> but uh it's it's a waste of time to gain followers and then lose them and then have to get them back so just do what you can to try not to lose them it ain't that big of a deal especially if you follow the shit that we teach y'all because we can get we can get you 100 followers almost overnight you know what i mean sometimes more it depends on the money behind it and so on and so forth but uh yeah just be vigilant on, on how you do shit don't don't go making a thousand trades on the same songs or with the same accounts even you see these little yellow marks right here those would be next to accounts that you've already made deals with that still have pending reposts from your account so that means that this account has a song that they're waiting to repost for me it just ain't happened yet according to this one or more songs would be ready in 15 days so it could be up to 15 days before this shit clear out so you know just just avoid this account <laughs> until you know the yellow thing go away or whatever there'll be plenty of other ones without it um there will be a little circle little red circle next to some of them that just mean that that trade has been set with the unrepost option so if you see that that just mean that if you make a trade on that particular song it'll just go away after a while most likely most people do like 24 hours or more you know 24 hours 48 hours 72 so on and so forth um that's not a big deal unless you specifically want songs to stay on your account personally i don't really give a damn because i make playlists and do other shit to make up for it but uh keep that in mind if it got the red circle and you don't want songs that you reposted disappearing from your account leave the ones with the red circles alone unfortunately there's more ones with the red circles than there is regular ones so it's something it's a balancing game right um i don't know since i'm pretty much since i pretty much covered the whole point of this video i'm gonna go open up one of these trades and see if i can explain anything else right quick i don't think I think I covered everything that I would want to cover in this particular video, so I'm just going to go look right quick. And of course, that would be my trade, so that's not going to work. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see shit else. Um, one strategic tip that I can give you. When you open up a trade, keep in mind that, okay, the, this is the information based on the trade, right? All of this is the information based on the actual account itself so as you can see I'm, I, this is a bad example but he actually has 307.3k but his trade is only for 300k there's going to be a lot of instances like that where the trade would be some super low ass number but the account holder itself will have a number like this some crazy number that you like wow they made a trade with me with that so keep keep that in mind you know when you're actually out looking for trades to make offers on look at the account list and, and see how many followers they actually have because you can mess around and do a trade that only got 1k back in it but the account itself might actually have 30k 40k 100k you never know so keep keep an eye on that stuff the more accounts involved in the trade on the other end the better because like i said it's getting put in more places instead of one so also keep that in mind um, it's better to make a trade with an account with more accounts than it is to make a trade with an account that only has one. But, again, there's variables that also depends. If that one account has 30K or some shit, do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, man, I'm going to leave this video alone. It's getting long. It's almost 500 megabytes already. I'll holla. We'll make another tutorial, like an actual, hopefully professional tutorial, not just some random shit like this to explain. I'll let your boy if y'all need anything. I'll be around. Peace.